recent uh, figures that came out, which I thought were interesting, was and to do with income tax, that although the number of people at work was going up, income tax is more or less stalled. And that would suggest that the reason it's stalled is because people are paid so little. And we know anyway, aside from that, that there, there is a huge growth in what is called precarious employment. People on very precarious contracts, we know that all of, from personal experience all over the place. And we know that people are paid very, very poor wages, the minimum wage. A lot of people are paid the minimum wage, and how people are able to live on the minimum wage is completely beyond me. People and com people complaining about a 30 cent rise in the minimum wage is bizarre. But you've got to deal with something, you've got to deal with that issue. You've got to deal with precarious employment. The minimum wage is pathetic, nine nine fifty or something it is now. Mm. Nobody could live in that. Why don't you put it up to a, well, at least the living wage, which would be 11 30 or something of that right? Well, first of all, the minimum wage is going up. It's gone up by 25% since uh, Fine Gael ca came to office. It'll continue to rise. We've set a target of bringing it up to about 10.50 an hour during this period of, uh, during this, this period of government. Um, uh, we are bringing legislation around if and when contracts, uh, which is one of the things that you mentioned. I want to bring in universal access to pensions. So a lot of those things um, are, are being done for a start. Um, and obviously tax reduction can be part of that too. Uh, and also, which are hardly paying any people on the minimum wage not paying income tax. Um, they would pay USC if they're working full time. Because uh, uh, you USC just about, US, but yeah, a tiny amount of USC. But one of the so, better, so the tax reductions don't mean anything to them. Yeah, one of the better things you can do uh, for that group, and again, something I talked about um, in my paper, and I demonstrated uh, in my last department is improving social insurance related benefits. Uh, so for example, we brought in paternity benefit for that group. Um, one of the things that is coming back only in October is people getting their dental benefits back. Um, it sounds like a small thing, but it's actually important to people. Uh, you used to, from your PRSI, uh, be able to attend the dentist for free, have your teeth cleaned, have an oral exam, have them polished and scaled. That comes back in, in October. One of the areas I'd like to restore uh, is sick pay. A lot of people who are getting up early in the morning who are working hard, um, if they become sick, their employers don't provide any sick pay for them at all, uh, unless they've been out, out sick for more than, and it's only when they've been out sick for more than five days, for example. 